Hi, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the breakout sessions as much as I did. It's such an extraordinary amount of great work being done by law enforcement, tech companies, NGOs, and young people themselves. Um, a special shout out to Roman Archer, who at age 12 was our youngest ever speaker at a FOSI conference. Thank you, Roman, and thank you all. Uh, so now we have a very special conversation hosted by Karen Ressmeyer of Amazon. Karen is the Director of Family Trust for Amazon Kids, the team that creates digital and hardware products for kids and families, which we will be hearing about in a moment. Um, before joining Amazon Kids, Karen was an Associate General Counsel in Amazon's legal department, where she specialized in privacy and consumer protection law. Karen has been with Amazon since 1998 and was the third attorney hired by the company. Karen, uh, thank you again for Amazon's generous support of our conference and welcome. Thank you, Stephen. And hello, Fosi from Seattle, Washington. It's great to be here. Um, I have to admit it was an early morning on this side of the country, but it's been very much worth it. The speakers, the research, the panelists, the breakout sessions, it's all been just great. I'm Karen Ressmeyer, as Stephen introduced me, and I started as Director of Family Trust for Amazon Kids in April of this year. And although I'm new to this role, as Stephen said, I am an old timer at Amazon. And to give you some perspective on that, at that time, Amazon sold only physical books and music CDs. So we've come a long way since then. Anyway, while I was in the legal department, uh, as Stephen mentioned, I work in a variety of areas and that included children's privacy, you know, consumer protection, user-generated content, and marketing and advertising. And I found that this background is serving as a great foundation for my new family trust role. And in my new role, my job is to work with our product teams in Amazon Kids as we develop and launch new products and innovative features. Um, and personally, as a parent, I was really drawn into this role because of the ability to focus on family trust and safety concerns, and also to be able to have some influence and impact on our kids' offerings. For those of you who aren't familiar with us, we have a short video to share with you about Amazon Kids, and it showcases the products and services we offer for kids, as well as the adults in their lives. Can we see the video? Now more than ever, parents are looking for trusted sources of digital content. The Amazon Kids team understands parents and kids and creates products, experiences, and features that kids can explore and enjoy independently and that earn parents' trust. With Amazon Kids Plus, families get access to thousands of thoughtfully curated, kid-friendly books, videos, educational apps, games, Alexa skills, and Audible books on compatible devices. All Amazon Kids Plus content is curated by experts on the Amazon Kids team, many who are parents themselves. Amazon Kids parental controls help parents manage the ways their children interact with technology. Parents can easily limit screen time, set educational goals, and monitor usage of over 20,000 kid-friendly videos, games, apps, and books available on Amazon Kids Plus, giving parents everywhere peace of mind and children, wherever they may roam, new, safe, and interactive ways to learn, read, sing, dance, and have fun. So as you could see, we believe the right technology can play a positive role in family life. Um, and we've talked a lot about parental controls today. Uh, one of the ways that we help is by providing a robust set of controls that adults can use to manage the content that their kids interact with on their tablets or other devices. Now, the video you saw mentioned time limits, educational goals, and visibility into a child's activity. But we offer a number of additional controls, including an age filter, an explicit lyrics filter for music, and controls that will let adults share content they choose with their kids. 
we recognize that there are many different parenting styles and we believe that giving adults choices in the digital lives of their kids. Now, I'm really excited about a few new features we just announced and will be launching in 2021. One of these features is Reading Sidekick on Alexa. Now, here's a video that will show you Reading Sidekick along with other Alexa tools for families. And it features my colleague, Dan, who's the director of content for Amazon Kids. And as you might imagine, his family has integrated Alexa into their daily lives. We've always been an Alexa family from the beginning. We've got a you know, full-sized Echo in the main room and then dots all over the house. And it's great because the kids can talk in any room and she's there to answer. One of the things I love about Amazon Kids is we know that Alexa's responses will be appropriate. No matter what they ask for, if they ask for something that they shouldn't, Alexa has a really nice response to either redirect them or answer in a way that we're comfortable with. My kids love doing an Alexa dance party. They say, Alexa, play some songs and it comes straight on with some of their favorite tunes and they're just dancing around like crazy and having fun with Alexa. My kids love reading Sidekick. They just think it's so fun to read with Alexa. Alexa listens, encourages them. Alexa, let's read. Let's see what's in store for us today. We will go back and forth taking turns on pages. Cats swallow a lot of fur. What's going on? Cats swallow a lot of fur. That's because they use their tongues to clean themselves. It's great for us as parents because we're cooking or you know, I need to be in the backyard doing something. We know that they are inside doing reading Sidekick and learning. enjoyed that video. I have to say I love reading Sidekick and I'm really looking forward to its launch. One of the positive ben benefits of having a virtual FOSI conference this year is that we're able to bring you additional voices from inside of Amazon. And recently I was able to chat with not one but two leaders from Amazon's Alexa and Echo teams. Tony Reed is our Vice President Alexa Experience and Miriam Daniel is Vice President, Echo and Alexa Devices. Tony's and Miriam's teams cover not only the technology behind the devices that brings Alexa into your homes, but also all those songs, jokes, and other fun information that Alexa provides when you ask. So here's our conversation. So Tony and Miriam, let's start by learning a bit more about each of you. What brought you to Amazon? and more specifically to Alexa and Echo. I, I can start. Uh, I joined Amazon in 1998. Uh, at the time, still considered a startup. It was just a bookstore. Uh, I uh, loved the idea of a, a high growth opportunity and a place where I could be a builder. Uh, and I've had a lot of different careers at Amazon. And I was lucky enough to get to join the Alexa team in early 2014, uh, which was before we launched. And so played a big part of uh, getting the product ready to launch. And I've, I've been here ever since. And I came to Amazon in 2014 um, and had the opportunity to go and work on Alexa with Tony. And she was one of the first people I met on Alexa and um, working together, thinking about all of these experiences from the early days, uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, we've come a long way and uh, I think we both thrive on solving hard problems and uh, building, you know, ex great experiences for our customers. So it's been a fun journey together with you, Tony. Tony, of the innovations that we've created during, that, during the pandemic, what are those things that you can see as continuing even after the pandemic ends? We recently announced uh, a, a new feature called the Care Hub, and it's really uh, creating the ability to help you check in with aging family members. This was something we've long been passionate about. Uh, from the early days of Alexa, we've seen customers, uh, our aging customers really respond to 
uh, the Alexa voice service and having a companion and also peace of mind. And so we've been working on it and we're just further uh, inspired and motivated to ensure that we got this sh shipping this year. And so, you know, it's a simple feature where for those customers, for those parents, grandparents uh, who live far away, that you can stay connected. You, uh, you and your family member agree to uh, create a connection between your accounts. And then if your loved one needs help, they can call you as their emergency contact. Uh, we also are offering a high level activity fee. So if your loved one uh, isn't up and about in the morning, their typical routine, maybe not interacting with Alexa, uh, we can send a notification to let you know you might want to check in on your loved one. Uh, and so we think this is an important space for us. Uh, I you know, see scenarios where our loved ones are, are wanting to uh, continue to live with independence uh, and, and we want to help support that. You know, our homes have become everything to us now. You know, they're, you know, restaurants, it's a movie theater, it's an office and more. And especially when you have little children, our homes have turned into classrooms as well. And parents are having to keep the children on schedule, you know, as they participate in online classes. And we wanted to help parents, you know, with something that would make it easier to keep kids on schedule. So we used Alexa skill blueprints to create school schedule blueprint and parents can provide the kids schedule for the week. And once they do that, Alexa will remind the child throughout the day when it's time to move to the next subject or activity. We also added a few kid focused routines like a focus time routine if you're meant to be reading for like 30, 40 minutes or a study session routine or a, you know, practice time routine so they can practice for a specified amount of time. And all of these are meant to add convenience to your lives, you know, take a little bit of the friction away from your life when you have to keep things going on track. And very specifically, I want to mention Reading Sidekick. It is meant for children that are just learning to read. It's to foster a love for reading. And they can read with Alexa and Alexa will provide them encouragement or help them if they're struggling to read. And it's a, it's a great complement to, you know, reading with parents. But, you know, let's say your child wants to read when you're at work or working in, in another room. Now the child can practice reading with Alexa. And we did see a brief demonstration of reading sidekick and action in the video that we showed right before um, our conversation. Uh, Tony, I know that your kids have grown up with Alexa. Can you tell us all about how they've used Alexa over the years? And have you ever used any of their feedback to help influence how you build for customers? Yeah, the, I, my family doesn't really know a world where we don't have access to an Alexa-enabled device. Uh, I, I was actually part of the early uh, beta program uh, long before I joined the team. And so my kids got very early access uh, to Alexa and they were quite small at the time. And uh, it's been amazing to watch kind of their journey and they are not shy about feedback, uh, whether they're providing feedback on all the things that they thought Alexa should be able to do and continue, uh, but where the experiences weren't working for them. Uh, they have served as a great inspiration uh, for me. And, you know, one of the, the reasons I, I, I like to listen to them is because they, they don't care about how hard it is, uh, to, to do the things that they're asking for. For them, they just imagine this is how it should work. And so why not? Uh, and I love that. I love that unencumbered thinking, uh, they don't need to worry about the technology or what's possible. They just really can, uh, can share how they expect it to work. And I think, for them, it's the same as maybe older uh, customers who have a similar, I'm not as tied to technology and what, what is possible. Uh, and so there's, there's just, it's kind of a purity and getting feedback from different customer sets. And so I always try to stop and listen uh, when customers are giving me feedback and especially my kids, uh, because I think that they are some of the, you know, uh, best customers, they're most passionate about it uh, and, and super helpful. 
Well, speaking of kids, you know, are there some ways that Alexa's interactions with kids will differ from her interactions with adults? You know, how have you built for kids? Yeah, I mean, like we do for all products, when, you know, we, we think very deeply about the customer experience and what it is we think that we can do to delight the customer and vent on their behalf. Uh, and the, the experience we built for kids was, was the same. It was built from the ground up just for kids. Uh, it meant that we looked at the type of content that they want to interact with, uh, how we responded to questions. And so uh, we think it's important to, you know, the kid talk, like kids want to hear things in different ways. And so uh, we looked at Features and one of my fun, my the fun ones is when you ask Alexa how many planets there are, she gives a factual answer. There are eight. If you ask it in kids mode, uh, you get it. She details out all the planets. You get a little fun fact. It's it's conversational. So it's a really great opportunity for learning and curiosity. Kids are curious. They're they're in this this great time where they're trying to learn. So we really embrace that. Uh, and you know, we also listened to parents uh, who wanted us to help nurture their kids uh, to be more polite. <laughs> so we go polite mode, uh, which gives positive reinforcement for when kids say please. Uh, and so we, you know, we just continue to uh, obsess about customers in the same way that we do, and really look for features. And and Miriam just mentioned one to a sidekick. So. It's another great example for where we're really uh, trying to build something that is, is useful for our, our kids' audience. Still, Tony, for, for, for both of you, some families are hesitant to bring Alexa into the home or into their child's playroom. And they have concerns about their kids interacting with a voice assistant. What advice would you offer to those families? What would you say to them? Well, I would start with Privacy is foundational for everything we do at Amazon. Uh, it's certainly true with Alexa and Echo. Uh, from the very beginning, we built in features like the microphone off button, which is electronically disconnected uh, for when you want that peace of mind. We have built in camera shutters uh, on Echo Show. So we, you know, we every day we're looking at ways we can. Uh, provide more transparency to our customers and give them control of the experience. We've spent the last few years building more voice experiences. So if Alexa does something unexpected, you can say, Alexa, why did you do that? Uh, if you want your voice recordings automatically deleted, we have settings that, that allow you to do that. And so it has been uh, something that we, we build in from the beginning for every new feature, every new hardware product, uh, and, and kids are no different. To add to what Tony said, we've built uh, specific controls with uh, families in mind. It, things like the ability to filter explicit lyrics from music, you know, which is a very important feature uh, when you have children at home. And um, we have parental control, so parents can actually control the amount of time that children spend interacting with Alexa, reading both, you know, stories or listening to music. And more recently, we announced um, Alexa voice profile for kids. You know, imagine having a you know, couple of little children at home. You can't keep them in one room. You can't tell them to interact with Alexa with just one device, which is set up for children. You know, they're going to be running around the house. They're going to be interacting with Alexa wherever, you know, it's possible. And introducing voice profile for kids allows parents you know, to enroll the children's voices. And then Alexa knows when she's talking to a child, she can shift to the kid's mode and ensure that they get child safe content and, you know, good interactions for with children all the time. It's kind of peace of mind for parents mostly. Thank you so much, Tony and Miriam. I appreciate the time you spent with us and the personal stories you've shared. It's great to hear about how your personal stories can impact how you design products for families. Thank you so much, Karen, Tony, and Miriam, and all of your colleagues at Amazon for that look 
at how you approach products and services for kids and young people. It uh, is really quite extraordinary. Um, also, thank you again for your very generous support of FOSI as an organization and this conference in particular. Um, for those of you who haven't been there, don't forget to stop by Amazon's exhibit booth. They have a very special promotion for all of you who visit.